Welcome to Expert Talk, by Kalkine TV, Sage here. Today's guest is Mr. Jeremy Pollock, the co-founder and CEO of Calvin, a hybrid work tech startup and employee ideals you may have noticed, as well as expectations for the ultimate workplace have evolved. And in many cases, employers are willing to make the change to meet their employees' needs in the post-pandemic world. Sydney-based startup Calvin has secured $6.8 million in funding to help shape the future of what this new world might look like. Big names like Canva, Airtree Ventures and the Gongski family office are backing this startup. And with Jeremy's experience from running tech consulting firm Peace of Mind Technology, advising clients such as Atlassian, Canva, Seek, Macquarie, Afterpay and more on how to deploy workplace technology, I'm sure his insights will be valuable. So I'm, I'm excited to bring to you live today, Mr. Jeremy Pollock, the co-founder and CEO of Calvin. Welcome to the show, Jeremy. Hi, Sage. Thanks for having me. Congratulations on the recent equity raise. And how did Calvin develop from a concept to a company? And how will you be using the funds, please? Really interesting question. So it was actually 18 months and uh, we never started out looking to, uh, you know, to, to build our own tech to, to get to become a startup. Um, I was running PMT and Dan, our, our co-founder in New York, uh, was running engineering for Crestron. Um, and we just saw the opportunity. We had customers saying, we don't know how we're going to manage the future of work, initially from a real estate perspective and then from a people perspective. Um, but we had this expertise. So uh, we, we really set out at first to see if there was anything out there. Um, and when we couldn't find anything, then we, we took the plunge, um, got started. and. Quite interestingly, Dan and I, up until yesterday, hadn't been in person together um, since before we founded the company 18 months ago. Wow, that is incredible. I mean, these days with tech, uh, gaining um, partnerships and alliances is so important. And it's so interesting to see how business ecosystems are evolving in the post pandemic world and impacting brand awareness. So with companies looking to get more staff moving back into the office, many businesses are having to look closely at their mission statements, business objectives, employee value propositions and hybrid work policies and accommodate the evolving work environment. So how do you see Calvin helping these organisations to manage this big task? Yeah, so we're really lucky um, through my background at PMT, um, but also through the last 12 months of working with these um, really valued design partners to get an understanding of all different shapes and sizes of future of work or hybrid work. And there's no one size fits all. Um, but what we are seeing is a, a really distinct shift towards the future of work being about individual preference, team objective and organisational policy. Um, and how we bring those three things together are going to be really critical um, you know, particularly from the recruitment and retention perspective, uh, but also from a productivity sense as well. And from what you said that you have just uh, met up with your co-founder after several years of working digitally and virtually, and that just goes to show how much the work environment's changed. And I believe a lot of businesses will probably be saving on work travel moving forward as well. Um, but employee engagement and data-driven results are some of the biggest shifts in business since 2010 and moving into the current era. So your business, Calvin, is able to promote both. Can you tell us about how it does that? Yeah, so, so one of the key things we're doing, um, well, there's actually three things. The, the first being managing hybrid work. So who's working when and where and um, how, do we, you know, how do we get that visibility over what our colleagues are doing to um, you know, effectively plan and, and manage and be together at the right time for the right purpose. The really interesting, the second bit is very much about employee experience. And we don't believe employers know enough about their people. So if you think about what makes great consumer tech, um, Netflix knows what you're going to watch tonight, but most employers don't know about their people, their, their skills, their interests, their preferences. Um, and we believe by, by taking that data, and surfacing it, we can give employees an amazing workplace experience, one that's contextual, um, but we can also give employers the, the smarter workplace operations or, or actual workflow automation to, to make it a quid pro quo, the future of work being both for employee and employer. That's great because gone are the days of silos. People really need to engage with each other and that's how you build a positive brand, I believe. And sounds like your business does have the tools to help businesses to achieve uh, the best 
of uh, brand awareness and employee engagement. So does Calvin cater to all industries or is it designed to support specific sectors like advertising, tech and design companies? Yeah, less, we're, we're, we're focused on all industries per se. Um, we're, we're really focused right now on um, more of the, the corporate or the, you know, what was fully office based or is now hybrid or even, even remote workforce. So really conscious hybrid work is a, is a really tough conversation for frontline workforce. Um, you know, we, we haven't gone there, there yet. There are a whole host of challenges around um, scheduling our frontline workforce and it's, it's a really, that's a really tough environment. But we've worked with organisations of all sizes. So the, the smallest is a 120-person uh, uh, fintech startup, which is growing really well and has a, a bunch of challenges around capacity management and team alignment and, uh, you know, a, a great executive team who want to get people together at the right time for the right purpose through to some corporate clients, uh, big tech like Canva that are, you know, have the most flexible of work policies, but still need to manage space um, and drive amazing employee experience or, or vibe as they refer to it. Um, and then through to, you know, an investment bank as a client who are really focused on employee experience um, and, and want their staff when they're in to, you know, to have an amazing experience around food and beverage, access control, um, beyond just the team alignment, they're, they're really focusing on employee experience. So we're, we're really lucky that we've been able to scale a product to, to work for organisations of all shapes and sizes. Well, it sounds like you're really passionate and positive about what you're doing yourself. And these days, with having to work at home, uh, employees are sort of juggling their work personas with their home personas, being a mother, a wife, you know, a housemate, all in one. And it can be difficult. So I suppose it is a great time to start to uh, build up the data set of who these people are that are working for you ultimately. And you've given us some great examples there. Thank you. Um, but you also mentioned how space is impacting um, the employee experience and we're seeing that in schools they are changing to a more sort of open planned learning environment as well. So a big part of having a good workforce is learning and development. Um, so it's interesting to see how perhaps Calvin can uh, assist the learning and development sector of human resources. Do you have anything to add on that? Yes, yeah, I mean this is really about the right you know, coming into the office um, at the, you know, at the right time for the right purpose. That's going to be, there's no one size fits all. Every organization is going to be different. A lot of clients, the conversation starts with how do we maximize real estate, but it moves very quickly um, to, you know, employees and professional development, mentoring, coaching, etc. So, you know, it's not just when I come in, how do I get a desk or do I book a desk? In fact, desk booking is, is, is friction. It's when I come in, who am I going to be sitting with? Am I sitting next to my colleagues in my team? Am I sitting next to uh, management and, and building those, um, you know, getting that, that mentorship? So it's going, to, it's going to be a really interesting piece to move beyond just, you know, fixing office capacity and moving on to the value that we can add for, for employee and employer. Absolutely. That hour that you might get a chance to sit next to management could be vital to your next step in your career. So true. So as we wind up the discussion now, it's an exciting time for your company with some great customers on board or uh, investors on board, I should say, such as Canva and Gilbert and Tobin. What are your new term goals? Yeah, look, we're, we're getting the message is resonating with clients, which is great. So organisations are feeling the, the pain of managing hybrid work and getting employee experience right and optimizing their office. We're just really focused on the employee experience. So we, we really need to win over employees and actually get rid of the friction and add value there. So our adoption grows, not, not just corporates um, purchasing. We, we really want to get employees engaged and, and get that uh, tangible benefit for both employee and employer. That's fantastic. Yeah, get that sense of self-actualization and belonging involved back in workplace again. Thank you so much for your valuable insights today, Jeremy. We really do appreciate your time. Thanks, Sage. Nice to meet you. See ya. Bye. And if you just joined us, we had a very interesting discussion with Mr. Jeremy Pollock, the co-founder and CEO of Calvin. Please watch the full recorded interview via Calkine Media's YouTube channel. And keep watching Calkine Media for more of the live expert talks, market insights. Till the next episode, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine Media.